Only two or three times in the history of the James Beard Awards has there been a tie for outstanding chef in the country, and there is a tie again tonight between Chicago's Paul Kahn and David Chang from New York City. Uh, both gentlemen uh, having a series of interviews here, and I want to talk to both of you about this, this award. And, and the good thing is you're both friends, too, which is kind of nice, and that sort of helps. But uh, uh, t talk about this award, you know, being outstanding chef. You both have multiple properties. It's not just one restaurant. And so, in a way, chef, really the literal term here of being the chief, you have to oversee so many different personalities in so many different kitchens. That's, that's a tough part, isn't it? Well, I mean... I think it's easy when you have great staff, and I think that he's got great staff. And I, more importantly, I think, I, I'm just thinking right now, the first time I met Paul, he had his whites on, he had a, the apron tied on the way I have, like I would want someone to have their apron tied on. And he was, he, he wasn't even, he was worried about the food, but he was trying to fix the compressor on the uh, on the rooftop, and I, I that was my <laughs> right, that's a, that's when I was like, you know what, this this guy is like in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say the same thing. Uh, one year in Aspen, uh, which is uh, aptly named at this point the David Chang Festival. It's not the Aspen Food and Wine Festival anymore. But I got the pleasure of uh, spending some time at the condo where David and all his cooks, uh, Christine, everyone was hanging out. And I was, I was amazed by the level of dedication. It was like, we are here because we, we, we worship at the, at the Temple of Chang. Seriously, they were like the most dedicated, most will do anything for David. And, and I was really impressed with that kind of dedication. And it's because he brings something amazing to the plate. And, you know, I think we, we on the same lines, I think our people are really dedicated. We treat them well. I, I don't take credit for anything except uh, having a great staff and having some good ideas and a great partnership and trying to nurture all those things and be successful. Uh, for me, it's not like it's, it's all me, it's all me, it's all me. I don't care about that. I care about uh, success for everyone. I, 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 would, I would have preferred that David Posey won Rising Star Chef for Blackbird tonight than, than, than me winning this award. I mean, I'm happy, I'm excited, but first and foremost, I think I'm thinking about my business partners and the people that have worked for us for I know that time. feeling exactly. If one of my guys was honored enough to be like, I, I, I would totally 100% know that feeling where you're like, I, you want David Posey to win. And, um, you say yeah. Both of you have taken inspiration from each other. I mean, you've both been successful, but like Avec has been inspiring to you and Publican has been inspiring and Sam has been inspiring. Uh, yeah, right. Vice versa. Uh, I mean, the what great chefs have to do is sort of take inspiration and, and harness that. I mean, you, you go to a place and the food's delicious or the design is incredible or you see a service point that you really admire. You say, how can we be better? How can we incorporate this into what we do? Um, maybe you can put a really original spin on it. Maybe you just say, man, I, I, I want to do what Chang's doing there. Slicing hams is the smartest thing I've ever seen. And I'm sure he wasn't the first one to do it. Uh, maybe the first one that people noticed. Um, but an amazing idea. Uh, there are great guys out there that m put their heart and soul and their life into making ham. You know, guys in Spain, guys in Italy, guys in, in the southern United States, guys all over this country. And I, her back house in Iowa, and these guys make an incredible product, and it's our responsibility to share it with people. I know you guys want to get going. One more question for you, though, just the Chicago guys. When you see this award has been won by Rick Bayless yeah. and Grant, your old and your old boss, right, and Grant Ackett's, yeah. and now you, that's pretty serious company. I'm, I'm retiring. It's all good. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna chase rock bands around the country yeah, from now on. No, you know what? I, 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 Rick's my old boss. Uh, I learned so much from Rick. Uh, Grant is a uh, amazingly intense uh, character, amazing chef, you know, uh, I have all the respect in the world for him. I, I'm, a, I'm a different sort of guy. I, I, uh, I, I just do what I do and, you know, I, I feel fortunate to receive this award. Um, just just try to do a good job and make people happy. That's, that's what we do. Go we'll celebrate. I know your wife's waiting for you. Congratulations to both of you. Paul Kahn, David Chang, uh, well done. Outstanding chef in the country. Off you go. Uh, it was it was getting a little bit uh, scary because uh, Chicago was up for a lot of uh, awards tonight, and we were going through the last couple of awards. Best restaurateur, Donny Medea, his partner, um, did not win. And then uh, outstanding service, Topola Bampa was a nominee, did not get that. Went to Del Posto. Outstanding restaurant, Spiage was up for that. Went to Blue Hill in New York City. But then the end of the night, both these gentlemen got the outstanding chef award. Uh, both very excited, obviously, here in New York City. That's the wrap from the James Beard Awards 2013. I'm Steve Delinsky. Have a great night, everybody.